what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're looking at how to make windows 10 search better now some people don't use the search box on windows 10 but i tend to use it quite a bit uh, for searching for files if you've got a lot of data then using this search feature is a really quick way of finding those files on your system but it isn't really good because it isn't set up properly so let me show you basically when i do a, a search for test here there's a file in my pictures area and also there's one on the desktop which is called test 2 so it does find them very quickly but if you want to find other files that are elsewhere on your computer you might not have much success and the reason for it is because you haven't set up the windows 10 search properly so i've got a folder here called secret inside the c root directory and when i do a search you can see secret it doesn't find it and that's because it hasn't been set up exactly how you should have it if you want to search for files and folders like these in certain areas of your hard drive so let's go ahead and take a look at the settings area here and go to search inside here you're going to be able to set up your permissions and history for safe search and also for cloud content search and other things like that if you want to set these up these are where you would actually set that sort of uh, permissions inside here let's go to search in windows indexing status here if you look here there is an enhanced area you definitely want to be putting that on because that's going to help you uh, find a lot more files on your system very quickly once the indexing is done it really is quick at finding files in really uh, weird and peculiar places you can also exclude folders uh, by adding them here but let me just go ahead and open up the indexing options here and what that's going to do is allow us to customize our search options so go modify and you will see the indexing locations here uh, the c drive has not been ticked also if you've got other drives on here they won't be ticked either so you're going to want to put ticks in those drives if you want to search for those files on those drives it's that simple so basically i'm not going to be doing the tick for windows but if you do want to search for windows files on there you can put the tick in there and it will index those files it does take a bit of time to index them but once they've been indexed once you ain't going to constantly be indexing those files it's just going to index new stuff uh, and that's all it is so it's very quick and easy to do so i've got those done i'm going to click ok here let's go to advanced options here we can uh, do the file settings it indexed encrypted files and we can also uh, rebuild our um, actual index here and that's what we're going to need to do once we've done these ticks also what i want to show you here is the file types here now they're pretty much going to cover all of the file types here but you've got a a specific type of file that you need to search for and it's not listed here you can add it in it's very simple and easy to do so indexing properties only or you can index properties and file uh, contents as well if that's what you wanted to set yours as adding new extensions is just as simple as putting the extension in like dot psp say for instance and then add that and it will basically search for that particular file type if there is one that is not listed in that list they're very simple and easy to do and all you need to do then is click ok here and uh, basically it will search for those files as well so click ok and now what we need to do now is we need to rebuild the index and this is going to start to add those uh, areas into our index so let me go ahead and go back in here and go back into advanced here and what we need to do is hit rebuild here and it will rebuild the uh, index uh, for that so then let's go ahead and do that and that does take a bit of time so be patient especially if you've got a lot of drives and a lot of files that you want to add to uh, the index uh, it will take a bit of time so it just let it go and do its thing here i will speed this process up so you don't have to sit here and wait but basically that is now done let's do a quick search for secret inside here and you can see straight away it has now detected uh, our text document and also our folders uh, for secret as well now before it wasn't detecting that and that's how basically you can get a much better search results by setting it up with advanced search and also setting up uh, the way i showed you inside the index options there now if you want to use a third party option which is something like everything to search then i'll show you how to set that up inside windows as well now i just want to cover this bit here about uh, the indexing options here some people like to remove this 
and still use the Windows search. And I wouldn't advise you to do that because index files are a lot quicker and faster to find on uh, the operating system. But what I want to do here is set up uh, everything, which is a, another search option, which some people like to use. And again, uh, what this does is it means it frees up your indexing for Windows search. We can disable all that and use the everything option if that's what you want to do. So let me go ahead and get this set up. I will remove the indexed here because we're not going to be using this. We're going to be using the everything uh, search option, which has its own index. So let me go ahead and remove the, all of this and we can then move on to installing our everything software. Okay, so that's nearly done now. So all I need to do is let that finish off. And there we go. And what we're going to do is uh, close this off and then basically move on to installing everything, which is a, a, a software that you can use, which is free to use. And some people claim it's a lot better than the Windows search. Maybe they haven't set the Windows search up correctly, but we'll go ahead and get this installed. First off, I'm going to go to services here and disable the Windows search inside here first because we're not going to need the Windows service running because we're not going to be using it. So I'm going to stop this and put it to disabled. So let me just uh, click stop and then disable. OK, that's now done. Click OK. Head over to Void Tools and download everything from their website. You can download the installer and uh, basically get that installed on the system. And once we've got that installed, I'll show you how to quickly set it up as uh, a search option inside the taskbar if you want to know how to do that and stay tuned. So let me quickly get this installed. Again, this is free software to use. Just basically uh, install it into the default directory here. You can leave it in app data, everything if you wish. I'm going to put it into an installation folder and also install everything as a service as well. So let me go ahead and do that and then click next and we can move on to the next step. So next. And again, we've got a couple of options here. You can install the folder context menus if you want to install a quick launch shortcut. If you want to do that, I would advise you to do that by putting the tick in there. And uh, if you want to use this option, you can put ES. Uh, I'll show you how to set this up in a second. You could have put the tick inside there for the URL. Uh, as well so let me just run this and this is the search option here it's a very efficient way of searching it's very quick at, um, searching for files on your drive and it finds them very quickly as you can see here no problem at all the problem is you'd have to have that window open all the time if you do it that way you can use programs like launchy to integrate that into there and make it a much more better search option for you um, if you want to do that, you can download this software. Very simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and uh, open up everything here. Go to Tools. Up the top here, go to Options. And then inside here in the General tab, we want to do URL Protocol right there and then click Apply. Click Yes, click OK, and we can close that off. Now down the bottom, we want to right-click on the taskbar, go Toolbar and Addresses. Inside here, you can now set this up to the way you want. So if I type in here ES colon and the item that I want to search, it will bring up the search box just like so. And you can see it's found all the files called secret right there. Very simple and easy to do. As long as you put the ES colon in front of it, it will find all of the files on your PC. And that's how you can have it integrated in the taskbar there. Very simple and easy to do. I'll put test2 in there and it's found the file called test2 very quickly, as you can see. No problems whatsoever. And also, once you've done that, you can remove all of the other search options, uh, the search box and the search items on Windows because you don't need them anymore. And you can remove those by just doing hide. So go to search and go hidden and it will uh, hide that for you right there. There we go. So let me just put that on. And that's basically it. Once we've done that, you can see it's a nicer, cleaner look. And you've got the uh, everything search box integrated into your taskbar here. And you can do a quick search for stuff by doing ES colon, whatever it is you want to search for. Afterwards, push enter, and it will find that folder on my desktop here, as you can see, very quick and easy. 
Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's basically how to make Windows 10 search better. You've got two options there. Either use the built-in Windows 10 search, or you can use the everything option and integrate that into your taskbar or whatever way you want to set yours up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Now, Bye if you me. haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.